Welcome Pisces. This is your January 2019 spiritual reading. This will be your general reading as well as your love weekly reading. My name is Marlena with Grace for Healing Intuitive Tarot. Welcome to my channel. We're going to start off with your general readings and I'm going to pull hopefully one <laughs> message for each week of the month. It's just, I say hopefully because sometimes more comes out. So my goal is to pull one message for each week of the month and then we will clarify going to a little more clarity and then we will move on to your love reading and there we will look at how you're feeling, how your mate's feeling, what the obstacles and blocks are and then we'll look into your advice for those obstacles. So this is the Pisces 2019 monthly January 2019 reading. Thank you. Ooh, and that's what I mean. <laughs> um, so let's get started. Okay. So thank you so much for coming to my channel, Pisces. In the beginning of the month, we have the Rainbow Dragon. That is a lot of insight that's going on. We also have change coming the second week of the month. And then what came out towards the middle end of the month is purification transformation and then towards the end of the month self-love and a lack of compassion um this is good because these two are awesome together um at the end of the month self-love and a lack of compassion this is really how people may see you maybe lacking compassion for them because you are loving yourself. So this is not a terrible thing at all because you know what I'm all about, it's all about self-love. And to see these two together, that's amazing. So, whew. all right, so the beginning of the month, let's go ahead and backtrack. The beginning of the month, we have that rainbow dragon, which is gorgeous. That's like seeing the light, seeing, you know, balance, that, um, I just want you to kind of concentrate on this card and see what colors pop out at you the most. <sighs> and those are the ones that will resonate with you in regards to the, this message the most. And then if I see anything else in regards to these colors, I will let you know. Let's go ahead and look at that. All right, so Rainbow Dragon, what messages do we have for Pisces for January 2019 in regards to the Rainbow Dragon, regards to balance, in regards to chakras, in regards to the message for Pisces for the beginning of the month, beginning of January. Thank you, Spirit Guides. <sighs> All right. All right, for those of you who saw yellow, there's a lot blossoming for you. This is you opening up, seeing things from a different perspective. Um, some of you may need to take a time out to just take a breath, breathe, because you have a lot going on at the beginning of this month. You're at a place where you're releasing fears and you're at a point where regardless if you win or lose, whatever it is that you're working on, you will be good. You will not fear it at all. For those of you who saw red, the base chakra came out having to hone in on that, on your security. Um, some of your fears in the past might have been in regards to security, regards to finances, stability. Um, so at the beginning of the month, these are some things that you're kind of facing, you're taking care of. And then I'm seeing some green here in regards to some of you might be a little heartbroken and you're kind of getting over that. Um, because you're now manifesting something new into your life. Some of you are leaving something else behind. So uh, what I'm seeing overall here in regards to the message here is that you guys are leaving behind fear. That you guys are starting to step out on your own. And that rainbow dragon, that's what that's about. Freeing yourself. Going into the light. Seeing things from a different perspective. Things blossoming into your on your favor. To, into your favor. It's, this is for your best interest. You know, what you thought you knew, you're kind of moving on from. And you're seeing things from a different perspective. 
some of you may be taking this time out again to be by yourself so i'm seeing this again at the beginning of the month take your time to kind of isolate yourself be by yourself because there's something that you're waiting for and you're looking for this sense of balance so at the beginning of the month it's all about balancing a balancing act is what i'm seeing nurturing yourself learning something new some of you may be going into classes to learn something new as well um but ultimately what's coming out repeatedly for you is this blossoming newness and leaving behind this sense of fear so second week of the month make sure as you're leaving behind this fear and that you're stabilizing your red chakra make sure because that red chakra is about you know you have the capability to do what it is that you want to do so let me see if there's messages here from spirit as well in regards to this i'm hearing that you're opening yourself up to new opportunities balancing your body chakras So now it's time for a change. Again, this, this change is something that you have manifested. So I'm loving it. <clears throat> um, but again, this change, like I said, some of you will be leaving someone behind. We'll look further into that when it comes to your love reading portion. But there is some change that's coming your way, whether or not you like it or not. And the same exact cards are kind of coming out. You know, in regards to, again, loving yourself, leaving something behind, taking the time out to rest, to breathe, to be patient with this newness that's coming your way. Because I see this change coming where you need to purify yourself, transform yourself. And then it goes into self-love. So um, let me just show you all that came out. I don't know if I showed you everything that came out. So at the beginning of the month, you had the rainbow dragon. Then you have change. Then you receive purification for mid-month along with transformation. So this is definitely a major journey for you, Pisces. And then again, going into self-love and the compassion for oneself. <sighs> um, let's see if there's any additional messages here for this purification. Pisces, cleansing themselves, taking a journey again mid-month loving yourself to a new level this purification will open you up to new opportunities still thinking in new ways that will help you blossom You'll find out also important things about people you love, and then you will act on it. <sighs> All right. Additional messages in regards to the mid-month and the end of the month, Spirit Guides. Thank you. During this purification process, you will need to choose your battles. Some people will try to come and distract you, but you can't allow that to happen. You have to believe in yourself so you can succeed. So imbalanced people may come to you to try to throw you off course, but continue to go along with the flow. <sighs> I think there are certain people you may not understand, um, but continue to share that love anyway. There are certain people that have a different perspective that's gonna be around you, but continue to be loving and the kind Pisces you are. Continue to find that balance. I feel like some of those people are fearful and may try to throw you off and make you feel like you the crazy one. So know that you need to remain in control of your own healing process and strengthen that bond within. Confront your inner child, which then leads us to this self-love because I feel like some of you aren't opening up and not recognizing the inner child within you <sighs> yeah you need to come together with the inner child come together um recognizing also your your third eye chakra again that's getting to know yourself your inner self like that inner me and rebuilding that 
I feel like some of you have not been working on the relationship with your inside, inside of you, confronting your own um, wants and desires and being okay with it. All right, Spirit, what is this transformation that Pisces is going through? Thank you, Spirit, Holy Spirit, thank you. Ooh, all right. Okay, so Pisces will now be coming from the place of student to teacher to leading. You will be now leading the people that are around you. You will now be making the decisions. So it's like a promotion, Pisces. A promotion in life. A promotion in um, not just your career, but I see in life as well. Some of you may find tension in regards to your relationships. Um, because of lack of trust and balance. But again, continue to go along with the flow and continue to be that leader. Don't let allow people to take you off this path. This path that you're on is extremely important because it's leading you to something so much better. Like I said, this self-love, no one can take you away from your purpose but you. And if you ground yourself to where you need to be, Pisces, then um, no one can take you off your flow. No one can take you off your path. You will be the leader of your own destination, not others. Um, although you are working on self-love, know that you will not be alone. You have spiritual guidance within you. Um, I also see more prosperity coming your way. You know, as you love yourself more, you bring more abundance in your life. Your solar plex chakra is looking good. Okay, why do all the cards keep falling on the floor? Um, again, I'm seeing this lack of trust. I've been seeing this the whole time. Someone doesn't trust another person. I feel like even it's a, coming from a place of not trusting yourself. And I think that's really what this is all about. Trusting yourself, leaving behind the fears because you really can guide, lead your own life. Pisces. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> so, again, the same messages are coming out. You need to heal so you can shine. Taking back control of your own life. You know, making sure you're not focusing on these distractions that are coming your way. And remain on target. Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. If you remain on target, it will bring you the joy and stability that you're looking for. So again, this self-love that you're guided towards towards the end of the month, um, having compassion for yourself will bring you that joy and stability that you're looking for. Any additional messages, Spirit Guide? By doing this, this will help uplift you, uplift your spirits in general, okay? And bring forth the opportunities you've been waiting for. So you can spread your wings and fly on about your way. Oh, that was beautiful, Pisces. I love it. I love it, Pisces. You're going many great places. I'm loving it. So that was the message for Pisces. Now we're going to move on to the love reading for Pisces for the first two weeks of the month. My goal is to come back in the middle of the month and give you the second two weeks of the month. So let's go ahead and work on Pisces. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your messages for Pisces. Allow this message to reach all that needs it, regardless of the time frame. Because we all know time is flexible. Although this is for January 2019, when you see this is when you need this. All right. Did I say my name is Marlena with Graceful Healing Intuitive Tarot? <laughs> My name is Marlena with Graceful Healing Intuitive Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. I love to hear your comments, especially when it resonates with you. Um, this is a new year, guys. I'm so happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being here on my journey. Um, I've been on YouTube for about a year now. I've been an intuitive all my life. Um, always had special gifts, but I've honed in on them more so in the last 12 years and become more public, oh my, 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 in the last 
year and a half, two years. So um, thank you for allowing my gifts to come to you and thank you for being a part of that. If you're looking to um, work with my gifts as far as readings, things of that nature, healings, please see my information below and let's go ahead and get started. So the love reading has already begun for Pisces. So Pisces, I see in the past you had a new love. Someone was Someone sparked your romantic interest. Interest. Currently, there's a sense of passion in the near future. I'm seeing this trust again, guys. This trust is deep for you guys. It's in reverse. Um, this trust is, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, but with it in reverse, it means to me the opposite. Um, there's someone you should not trust. Um, but we'll get further into that. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go ahead and get the messages. Let's get a little deeper into Pisces past, present, and future for January, the first two weeks of the month, January 1st through the 15th, first half of the month. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's clarify what's going on with this new love in the past. Thank you, Spirit. Oop. You know what? I'm tired of these cards going everywhere. So there's definitely something that you have um, been working on. So in the past, I just see your wishes coming true. I see that everything that you've worked hard for has um, moved you forward in a direction that allows you to now even have peace in your life. I see that many of you are moving forward, have moved forward, taken an additional step in your relationship you have strengthened your bond with someone um but i see in the past here you also had options um you were trying to figure out what you wanted to do um you know the seven of cups came out as well as the seven of pentacles so this is like you having you're on a journey you know you're figuring things out so in the past you have figured things out you were figuring things out and now, and in the past, you were afraid to kind of speak up in regards to um, something tangible you wanted. I want to say in regards to a job, you were probably keeping it to yourself, how you wanted to make your money. But I see some of you um, definitely got married in the near past. We also see, um, have the Hierophant here, but I feel like you feel a lack of appreciation in regards to this. Um, some of you are coming into the level of truth that is kind of making you feel unhappy <sighs> because it looks like there was a burden you had to release um maybe it could be a water sign but i feel like this bird is you are having a burden or you're overthinking this burden or this issue in your life that's pertaining to a water sign someone who you found to be very sensitive, but right now you're feeling like you're not getting that from them. Pisces, you just came up. You have the moon card here. Some Pisces, and, and you know, again, in the past here, I'm seeing you coming into money and family. Money, family, money, power, respect. <laughs> I don't know why that's on my mind. I feel like I said it in another video. Money, power, respect is the key to life. Um, <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and move on to the current for Pisces. Passion is now on your mind, allowing your heart and soul to sing with joy. So Pisces, yes, you're gathered the strength. I feel like you've come into a place of peace. I still see you have many options on the table here. I also see a cancer here that's very prevalent in your life also. Um, that's showing you these different options in your life. And whoever this is, is probably a wish come true as well. I definitely do see you here. Just this is a relationship who you have that you've grown that is blossoming. I'm loving this. I see a tower moment in reverse here. So this is you thinking of the past, thinking of some issues, some things that came to an end. Because I see you now moving forward, taking, um, I feel like you're thinking of someone as being controlling as well. Um, and this is someone who I feel brings you abundance, someone who you might have a new start with. <sighs> um, I feel like this person might bring judgment to you, um, maybe even judgment to your children, people around you, to someone from your past, 
uh, I see siblings here as well. Um, but I'm seeing this is a family dynamic. Someone bring judgment to your family. Um, maybe in regards to finances as well. Um, but I feel like this is deception and lies. I feel like someone's lying about another water sign perhaps or this person who you see as um maybe even a mother figure um i just feel like this is in, i'm feeling like it's also a cancer because i'm seeing cancer here multiple times but this is again someone who's bringing sadness in your life that again i'm seeing um in regards to a burden you're trying to release um, and again, I'm seeing, so I'm seeing the same messages for you. Again, a lack of appreciation. I'm seeing that as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the near future because I feel like you don't trust someone. Let's see what this is about, Pisces. And then we'll move on to your mate and how your mate is feeling. But let's see how you're feeling in the near future. There's someone who's presenting lies to you. Because they're depressed, they're in their head, they may be making you depressed. I feel like this is someone who you were arguing with, feel like you're in competition with. And at some point, there's a choice that you have to make in regards to this person. This is someone who you don't want to work on this. Um, maybe this is someone who has an addiction, an addictive nature, but you don't want to work on that anymore. This is someone who's definitely bringing you burdens. I'm seeing Ten of Wands, I'm seeing Ten of Swords, both in reverse. This is something that you thought you left behind, I feel but this is something that's still coming up. So this is someone in the near future that I just feel like, because I keep seeing this 10 of wands in reverse. This is a burden to me. This is a burden that maybe even you're trying to release. Um, usually when I see the 10 of swords in reverse, I'm feeling like this is a healing. Um, so, but this is something that you're still thinking about. And maybe this is a burden you're trying to release or heal from. But I really feel like I need to go an extra step further. But I'm seeing you again, Pisces, the same information that came out before, this judgment. I feel like it's just piling on. Honestly, whatever I saw in the past here, I see it's still in the current and still growing um, more tumultuous in the future. But I still see you doing well financially. Um, but I still see someone judging. Honestly, I feel like there's something that you're... But it's getting worse. That's what I'm feeling. Like this situation's getting worse. Someone's definitely in their head, um, have a choice to make, um, gathering strength in order to deal with a situation. But I feel like you are avoiding someone with a bad addiction. Addiction. This is just not fine. Uh, this is not a financial addiction necessarily. I feel like this is an emotional addiction. Someone who likes to be in the dark. Someone who likes to create havoc, judgment. Um, so I'm just seeing this being. Um, you not wanting to work with what's in front of you. I feel like you know this is here. This is something that's hard for you to deal with. I feel like you know there's a lack of trust here. You don't want you don't even have faith that this situation will get better. Um but I feel like this is definitely affecting your family and you know it. So I'm gonna leave that at that, Pisces. So let's see how your mate is feeling. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The message for Pisces, January 2019, first two weeks. How is Pisces' mate feeling? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Past, present, and future. How is Pisces' mate feeling? Past, present, and future. Um, the message I'm getting right now is that Pisces needs to step up. Pisces needs to confront this issue that they're seeing that's getting worse in their life. And until they step up and dealing with this situation, it won't get better. Pisces mate, past, present, future. So there definitely was some type of union in the past here. In the past, we received religious factors and currently letting go of control issues, letting things happen naturally in reverse. This is someone really trying to take control. They are not allowing things to happen naturally. Um, and then in the near future, I see this person trying to remain optimistic because they feel like you are a love um, like no other. So this is what we have for their near future. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
so go, let's get a little deeper into this religious factors. What happened in the past here? What happened in the past? Your love life is influenced by religious and spiritual upbringing. So this person, the way that they're acting is as a result of how they were raised. Um, again, this, this, this to me is controlling. This is Aries. This is the emperor. The emperor is someone who is very much so in control, powerful, knows what they're talking about, but knows how to move people and make things happen. To me, the emperor in reverse is someone who's overly controlling, someone who is really, you know, mind bottling, mad controlling. So I feel like, you know, as a result of these uh, issues from the past, they have continued to gain this, the word, they, they've gained affirm. Uh, no, they're validated in what they do because they've been doing it for so long, because it comes from their family, because it comes from their past, they feel validated in what they do. Um, this overly controlling nature that they have, they feel validated by it. They feel like it got them their Ten of Cups, their home. They're happy. They're happy where they are. But they got everything they want by these controlling means. And they're continuing to do it because it brought them their happiness. So this is this in the past. What other messages did we have in the past? <sighs> okay, I feel like um, in the past, you know, they wanted a new beginning. In the past, I feel like they were bored with the possibility of no new beginning. Um, this <clears throat> this is. Okay, so in the past, I see juggling. I see um, three-party situation, something. Someone not communicating love. Someone not even accepting an offer of. Not accepting someone's truth. I feel like there was, a in the past, a lack of communication about their passions and love. Perhaps even money. Um, I'm also seeing um, the Six of Pentacles and then the Six of Swords. I feel like balance was restored as someone walked away. Took a new path. There was a path that had to be taken by leaving someone out in the cold. And then there was an offer given of something more stable, a new future. Then someone jumped out on faith. And um, so I feel like someone made some changes. I saw a lot of lack of communication, honesty. And then someone did something different to get what they wanted. To get the future they wanted. Okay. So the current. This controllingness again. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This person is not doing that. <sighs> Imbalance. This person is um, creating an imbalance and is talking to someone about maybe their creative ventures, um, wanting st to start a new, I, I feel like this person wanted something new with you and they've decided, they contemplated this. This is something that they've been thinking about. This is determined in reverse, but I feel like they're still sneaky. There's still a lack of abundance here with this person. Um, but by doing so, they come out of feeling, they come out of feeling uh, depressed. So what brings them out of this? 
<sighs> so what I'm seeing here is imbalance creates goodness for them. Like them being imbalanced. Um, I feel like it's a power struggle. It brings them happiness. But it creates a havoc in your relationship in regards to your family, in regards to your children, in regards to your family dynamic in general. And then it creates, I feel like this is a cycle. Um, then there's arguments again, and then there's a decision that's made. I feel like this person is insensitive in some cases, but maybe a hard worker financially knows how to deal with their career. Okay. But I still see um, juggling a burden. I'm seeing some of the same things I saw for you. I see an Aries here. I see... Um, I just see a lack of honesty, a lack of appreciation. So this person may feel like they're, they're not appreciated as well. But I, I keep seeing this burden here in reverse. Releasing a burden. <sighs> Releasing a burden. Because it brought sadness and someone wanting to give up. I just feel like I'm speaking in riddles a little bit right now. So I'm not going to try to clarify this further. I feel like it's the same information. So please make sure you leave your comments below. Um, let's please leave your comments below. Thank you. How this is resonating with you. Staying optimistic in your near future, past life relationships. So your partner feels like you're a past life relationship. They've known you before. This could be a relationship from before as well as from a past life. They see you as a past life love. They remain optimistic about this relationship. They continue to think positively because they want this relationship to work. So let's get clarity. All right. So in the near future, I see them maybe arguing about walking away, but I yet I see them holding on to a burden. Um, I see them also in the near future seemingly finding appreciation, someone coming out of a third party situation or no longer feeling heartbroken. Um, and this heartbroken could just be emotional, emotions as well, um, but not feeling heartbroken about someone giving up again i'm seeing the sadness in the near future with them um but i'm seeing someone's trying to take back control of their healing <sighs> what i'm feeling is manipulation i feel like someone's manipulating things around their feelings, what makes them feel happy, what makes them feel whole as a result of their past, as a result of their spiritual past, their past, their upbringing. I feel like this person keeps their heart guarded because of the sadness that they've had in their past, because of maybe some third party situation in the past, them wanting to control their healing, them wanting to feel appreciated, them trying to make you feel appreciated in the near future as well. So, but they're holding on. They're not going to let you go. But I'm also seeing, okay, so what I'm about to do, because I just keep seeing three things over and over again that I'm just not fully understanding right now. So I'm just going to have to do it for you, Pisces. <sighs> what is this burden in reverse, Pisces? For the first two weeks of January, what is this burden in reverse? This Ten of Wands in reverse, what is this about, Spirit? healing thank you spirit what is this ten of wands in reverse in regards to <sighs> so someone's definitely trying to release and move forward um i feel like they feel like the healing has begun they're trying to find balance 
But again, this burden is them taking the lead. I feel like someone's very concentrated on a reward, an outcome, um, and their relationship, money and relationship. But the burden is taking the lead for their own healing. So they need to find balance. So let's just go ahead and move forward. So let's go ahead and move forward into your, thank you, Holy Spirit. <sighs> okay, I, I can't let it go. All right. This burden. Thank you. What is this burden? What is this burden? So I think this burden is definitely in regards to someone keeping their guards up, um, someone having to need to take the steps to have courage to look at things from a different perspective, um, maybe needing to ground and reflect within themselves. Um, so someone is basically holding another person hostage based on their own issues that they have not confronted themselves, that they haven't dealt with themselves, and they don't have the courage to even deal with. I feel like someone rather get emotional about it or manipulate in regards to it rather than dealing with their own woes, their own issues that are affecting their family. And this could be very specific. So did I say that this is a general reading and this could go vice versa? <laughs> oh, Lord, that's a lot of energies right now. Hmm. All right, Pisces, thank you. Let's go ahead and move on to what your obstacles and what your obstacles are. Let's see what the obstacles are in this relationship. Obstacles. In, what are the obstacles in this relationship? Feeling safe to love. Letting their guards down. Opening their heart. What are the obstacles in this relationship? What are the obstacles in this relationship? Opening your heart is an obstacle. Unconditional love and someone and patience is an obstacle in this relationship. Some someone needing to show patience in this relationship. Be patient. Um, someone's not reaching out and speaking to the person. So some of you may be separated, but I just feel like there's a lack of stability, a lack of listening, a lack of compassion even this is all about you know i keep seeing control everywhere so whatever is going on here this is definitely in regards to someone working out of a place of control when you're working out of a place of control this is a sense of fear you're living your life in fear um if you feel like you need to control someone then that's because of something lacking in you and it only gives you a temporary Temporary satisfaction, Pisces. And this could be you or your mate. But regardless, don't be a victim to it. Recognize what it is. And don't be a part of it. I'm not saying don't be in a relationship with the person. I'm just saying don't be manipulated by it. And this could again be you or Pisces. <sighs> Pisces or the cross watcher. All right. So let's go ahead and start working on the advice for Pisces mate. Then we're going to go into the advice for Pisces. Thank you again for coming to my channel. I love you guys. I love to hear your comments. It's a blessing to me. I do this to help. So make sure that when you leave the comments, I really appreciate it when it resonates with you. When it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> But the comments are definitely appreciated when it resonates. So someone needs to deal with their inner selves. So this is for Pisces mate. Pisces mate needs to detach and deal with their inner selves. Pisces mate needs to work on their sacral chakra. 
Sacral chakra is again that depression, that anxiety. Um, whether or not you feel if you can do something or not. Um, to help with that, you could do dance, yoga, things of that nature, but you just need to work on that lower. It's right above your base chakra. Some of you might need some alignment work, some Reiki work, some chakra aligning work, but I would get some advice because some of you may not even know what it is that you are scared of. And if you can get down to the source of what your fear comes from, then you can be healed. Of course, you can call me for that as well. It's about getting to the core of what your issue is. So, um, so Pisces mate, like we saw a lot of imbalance with you. But again, this goes back to your childhood. Um, so you don't want to listen to what other people have to say because you have a childhood that you're still holding on to that you need to detach from your childhood your childhood is what happened back then you need to heal that and detach from what happened back then so you can then grow and find balance so it's to me what i'm seeing is you find balance or let me say it this way in in balance you find security balance seems off to you it's like it's switched for you. What other people see as balance, and I don't even want to say other people because you're not comparing yourself to anyone, but for you, it's backwards. It's, it's upside down. And allow things to happen naturally. Some of you are waiting a result of something. So deal with what's at hand. Deal with your childhood first. Because that's what's impacting your relationship. And then you will receive the reward you're looking for. I see a well-deserved reward coming your way. Um, some of you may be teachers. Some of you may be teaching others soon. <sighs> so let's see what your message, your advice is for love. Ooh. What is the message for Pisces mate regarding love? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your message for Pisces Mate. It's for Pisces Mate, first two weeks of January. Thank you. <sighs> Pisces, first two weeks of January. You know, take the concentration off yourself. Like, I feel like when you indulge in who you are or what your issues are, it takes you off kilter. It makes it hard for you to even work. So pay attention, maybe draw your attention somewhere else, towards someone else, and demonstrate love by finding out what's important to the people that love you. And then act on it. Also appreciate this moment because every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love and listen to your heart. Spend time with others that you love. But ultimately choose love, not fear. What I'm seeing here is a pattern of you being in fear, Pisces mate. Um, living in fear, which brings on this controlling nature. Um, many of you might be dealing with the Aries. I saw Aries a lot in this reading. Um, fire in this reading, of course. So, But because this is a general reading, it could go either way. All right, so let's go ahead and get some advice for Pisces now. This is Pisces. Pisces for the first two weeks of the month. Let's get advice for Pisces in the first two weeks of the month. Advice for Pisces, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so Pisces, you got to show someone you care. Um, I feel like you need to be honest, bring the issues to the light, and increase your spiritual bond with Source. Hear from Source, and then you will hear the truth. Um, don't avoid the waves, the val the issues in your relationship. Pisces, your life has ascended, is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Therefore, make sure you continue to love yourself first. Respect, self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We talked about this towards the end of the month. This is what you're going to get to towards the end of the month anyway, getting to that place of self-love. So you'll realize you'll receive, receive that respect from your mate by, by doing this. 
also face, you know, the things that make you unattracted to this person. Any codependency issues or addictions. We saw this earlier. Express the love that's out there for you because you definitely do deserve love, okay? Let's see additional messages for Pisces. First two weeks of the month regarding their love life. Okay. So, you might have to go within to finally open up to your mate. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, you have some confronting to do as well. Confronting your past, confronting yourself, confronting and speaking up. This is what's very important for you right now, Pisces. Speaking up. Whatever you're allowing someone to get away with, you need to speak up and confront this. The more self-respect you have for yourself is more respect this other person will have for you. What is Pisces love advice? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Slow down, you move too fast. Anyway, when you're excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. Look at your pattern in relationships, Pisces. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. Honesty is essential. You're going to need to speak up. This is what this is all about. Okay? Be willing to express your love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. To be a loving port person. Listen, Pisces. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Don't wait till you get so frustrated and so pissed off to finally speak up, Pisces. What's going wrong in your relationship has to do with partially you, not speaking up on your own behalf, not speaking up for your relationship. The more you speak up on behalf of you, your relationship, honesty, all of these things, the more you speak up, the more you improve your relationship. But I feel like, Pisces, you fear that if you speak up, that you will harm your relationship, that you will make it more difficult in your relationship. That is not, that's farthest from the truth. Speak up and then you can have the relationship that you want. Otherwise, you're doomed for disaster. Love makes all the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. It's obvious, Pisces, that your partner has issues with self-worth, security, and has a past hurt that really needs to be solved. And it only can be solved by you being strong, by you stepping up and having the courage to speak up for you and your relationship. You show how much you love your partner by speaking up. Not by allowing them to walk all over you or by allowing them to stay miserable. They are miserable in your growth at this time, in your prosperity. You want them to be happy for your prosperity. This is someone who has a controlling issue that really needs to be solved. Can you solve it? Maybe not. They may, they may need help. But at the end of the day, you ignoring it will not help you, Pisces. I feel like I'm talking to someone as a child right now, and I apologize because you're all grown people. <laughs> so I hope you needed that message because when I start to talk like this, it means that someone really needed to hear it. <laughs> I feel like I'm a mother right now t chastising my child. But this is not chastation, chastisation at all. It's just allowing you, hopefully you just hear the message. You need to be honest. You need to be, speak up. You need to, it's essential if you want this relationship to go to this next level. I feel like many of you have already taken the relationship to the next level from, from a standpoint. But overall, it has not fully been... Now you need to take it to a next level on a deeper level, if that makes sense. I hope this makes sense to you. I love you guys. I love you. Love, peace, light, blessings, Pisces to you. Make sure you thumbs up before you leave. Make sure you subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. I love you guys. Love, what did I say? Love, peace, and hair grease? No. <laughs> oh, anyway, love and light. I love you guys. I love you. Bye-bye.